Why don't I have snake diet fat man eating a zero carb carnivore diet? Let's begin. For one, it's a fucking step down. It's a step backwards from a real ketogenic diet. Okay, a real ketogenic diet. 20% protein or less, zero carb. You fucking lose way more weight on that than you do on a fucking high protein fucking steak only fucking diet. You lose way more weight. Fuck. Why in the fuck would I put him on a zero carb diet that's fucking crazy high fucking protein? It's fucking stupid. You lose way more fucking weight and have better bowel movements when the protein is under 20 fucking percent of the calories, you fat fucking pig. Bacon, spam, if you're gonna eat steak slopped with fucking fat, None of these people are doing this. Okay, they're not in deep ketosis. Okay, if I'm gonna fucking go on a zero carb diet, I'm gonna take advantage of fucking deep motherfucking ketosis. Not this half-assed version of a fucking ketogenic diet where you're just eating a bunch of fucking meat. Fuck, fucking stupid. Not to mention the adherence is still shit. If I'm gonna put Matthew on a short-term cutting routine with bad adherence, I'm gonna put him on a diet that he's gonna lose way more weight on. Like bacon, not fucking ribeye fucking steak. Okay, actual ketogenic dieting. Fuck, spamming pickles is better for weight loss than eating a bunch of fucking steak, you idiot. Fuck. Idiots. That's the biggest problem about the whole fucking carnivore community. Okay, they don't teach anybody how to transition out of the fucking diet. So then you get somebody that weighs six, seven hundred pounds, that gets all amped up, starts fucking eating a steak-only fucking diet, then sure as shit he gets weak and then feels bad that he's gonna get ridiculed by all the fucking stupid carnivores in the stupid community. It's no different than the vegans. Fuck. Fucking dogmatic as fuck. The community and the fucking coaching's the problem. Nothing wrong with meat. It's a fucking carnivore dieting diet advice. It's fucking shit. So you'll get the fat person that's fucking trying to do it, getting pushed by everybody. Then they go MIA. It's like, what happened to that guy? Because he feels bad because he fucking had to quit the routine. And he wouldn't have to do that if they taught people how to fucking transition out of the fucking diet. Fuck! You need a fucking escape plan, you idiot. All these extreme diets, if you don't have an escape plan, you're just gonna fuck up and go back to eating complete shit. Do you think if we have snake diet fat men do fucking watermelon only right now, losing weight like crazy? Do you think we don't have a fucking escape plan? That's not a diet. It's a fucking crash diet at best. Fuck! Okay, do you think if I had him do a strict ketogenic diet, do you think I expect him to eat that for the rest of his life? No. Fuck, we have an escape plan. The escape plan is always going to have some carbs, whether it's a little bit of fruit or something. Or else the adherence is zero over time. Fucking zero. On the grand scheme of things, the adherence is fucking zero. Especially with fucking morbid obese people. Fuck. How in the fuck is a morbid obese person going to hold on to a zero-carb fucking diet for a fucking year? They're not. They're not. They're fucking not going to do it. Okay, this is about weight loss, not about your fucking feelings about your fucking stupid diet, you idiot. Fuck, right now, Matthew technically is eating a vegan diet. He's dry fasting all day eating watermelon covered with snake juice, sodium, and potassium at night. That's a vegan diet. But do you think we're going to stay on it forever? No. No. Fuck. We always have a fucking escape plan, bitch. Always. That's fucking real weight loss coaching. If you're going to tell somebody how to crash diet and you're so fucking dogmatic that you can't give them an escape plan to get off it, you're a fucking shitty fucking weight loss coach. Any diet where you're counting the days is a fucking crash fucking diet. Crash diet. Look at everybody. Oh, I'm fucking four days fucking vegan. I'm four days carnivore. Fuck, I'm four days keto. Okay, it's all a bunch of crash dieting. Fuck. On the grand scheme of things, it's zero adherence. Okay, anybody that adheres to it usually has some other motivation to stay on it. Like they're fucking selling a book. Fuck, the carnivore diet, one of the biggest carnivores quit. Okay, Paul Saladino's not even doing it. He's eating fruit. Fuck. Because of sustainability shit. It's fine to do an extreme diet, zero carb, even a vegan diet for a short period of time. But if you don't have a fucking escape plan, you're going to blow up when you break. And if you got everybody chirping at you to stay on something, go vegan, go carnivore. Fuck, these people sound the same. These people sound the same. Like, shut the fuck up already and fucking focus on the problem, you fat fucks. You need to lose weight. If you're gaining weight back after your crash diet, your fucking dieting advice you're hearing fucking sucks. Until next time. Stop fucking eating, fatty!